In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six animated infographic option slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. You can see here I've added one shape and I put the business headline here and some detailed text. And when I click, the first option comes from here and then it will show the text and the detailed text. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here the first option come option number one. Uh, with a shadow effect you can add the title icon and the detailed text here and then on my next click it will show the second option with some different color combination then the third option the fourth the fifth and the sixth option i have created two slides one with animation and another without animation and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university i have created a whatsapp group you can join this with the help of this link and this link is also provided in the video description section and if you like to donate to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is also provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial for this tutorial i have used 2019 powerpoint version or if you are having 2013 or 16 version also works and make sure that you need to have this merge shape union combine intersect subtract then only it will work if you are using 2010 or 2007 it will not work in 2010 you need to enable the option the merge shapes add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to select the top corners rounded you can see here i'm just going to make this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some light gray color then go to rotate and rotate right 90 degrees you can see here again put it exactly in the center increase the size as per your requirement if you want to increase the width also you can increase it again put it in the center and i want to make it fully rounded here so for that you can see a small orange point i'm just going to drag this inside so it becomes something like this then i want to give some uh, a shadow effect for that right mouse click go to format shape and under effects select the shadows and from the preset scroll it down and i'm going to select maybe this one you can see here inside top and if you want to increase the distance you can increase the distance or if you want to make it more blur also you can make blur something like this then i'm going to add uh, five or six uh, kind of a ribbon options uh, depending on your requirement for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a small rectangle maybe this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline then go to insert shapes i'm going to select a triangle draw the triangle at the bottom of this rectangle you can see here something like this and shape outline make it no outline and give some different color so what i'm going to do with the help of the merge shape i'm going to remove this area you can see the triangle area so first select this shape hold the shift key select the triangle under format merge shape i'm just going to subtract it you can see here so i end up getting a shape something like this then i'm going to rotate it with the help of this arrow you can see here and i'm going to put the arrows so the option like this if you want to reduce the size or increase the size it's up to you to do this one so i'm just going to put one shape like this press ctrl d rotate it a little bit i'm going to put like this here ctrl d you can see here you can put something like this so depending on your requirement maybe four or five how much you need you can just add again ctrl d you can see here i'm going to rotate a little bit here and one more i'm going to add and then i'm just going to tilt it a little bit more so depending on your requirement you can just adjust it you want four or five it's up to you to decide how much you need so once this is done again you can cut this shape somewhat with the help of the merge shape again go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a small rectangle let me just give some different color and shape outline make it no outline and transparency increase the transparency so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this rotate this little bit and you can see here the one which is highlighting this area i'm just going to cut it a little bit something like this from each 
option so again you know so it gives a very good uh, look let me just control d for this is okay i'm not going to do this one and for this one maybe i can just do the other side something like this you can see here and again press ctrl d and i'm just going to do the same thing here also if you want you can just do the other side also whichever way you feel better so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one merge shape and subtract again select this and this subtract this one and this one i'm going to subtract it again select this hold the shift key the last one and subtract so we end up getting a shape something like this now i'm going to add another shape here for that go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select this right triangle you can see here draw a right triangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it a uh, black you can see here let me just zoom in further and then what i can do i can just rotate it something like this you can see here or i can just rotate it like this and then put it here reduce the size make sure that it is properly aligned even though if it is going outside which is crossing this one topping this one also not a problem but you have to make sure that this one should not go something like this it should be within this shape so you can just adjust it more reduce the size something like this and then you can select this the blue one and bring to front so it looks something like this again i can select this press ctrl d and then depending on the requirement i'm going to reduce the size sorry let me just reduce the size you can see here again rotate put it here and again select this blue and bring to front so you can see here i've added all the options and if you feel that you are struggling to do this one then uh, one more simplest way you can do it for example let me just show this one example if this is not adjusting for example if it is something like this and you cannot adjust it that one then the simplest way is right mouse click edit point and then you can just reduce the size something like this you can see here you can just do something like this also again if it is not matching again right mouse click edit point and then just align it properly you can see here something like this also you can do with this now i'm going to give some shadow effect go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select black then increase the transparency level maybe 55 or 60 percent then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this then i'm going to increase the size a little bit more select this bring it here and then put something like this you can see here something like this and then you just say send to back you can see here send back so you get uh, this kind of a shadow effect here again i'm going to select this you can see here again rotate it put it something like this and if you want you can just simply select this one and bring to front that also you can do it again control d you can see here again rotate it put it like this select this ribbon bring to front likewise sorry likewise you have to add this effect to all the options you can see here depending on your requirement you can just do it again bring this to front and again last control d you can see here again bring this to front so once this is done what we can do is we can select each option and give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give some random colors you can see here i'm going to give some different color combinations if you feel that uh, some other color matches your requirement you are free to change that color so like this i have uh, added so five different options and now once this is done you can add the title so let's put the headline first go to insert text box and you can just say business headline any text you can replace it center align any good font you can choose 
increase the size something like this you can see here if you want you can add some detailed text also now if you see the app options which have added is very closer uh, basically you need to give some a gap when creating this one so this is just for the example i've explained this so go to insert text box you can add the title you can see here again give some good font make it bold use the same color which we have used here and reduce the font size a little bit put the title and then go to insert text box add your detailed text here again i'm going to give some gray color reduce the font size you can see here something like this and then select both of this control d to duplicate add for the each option you can see here something like this press ctrl d and keep on adding the titles for each option you can see here and then i'm going to select this based on this the color also i'm going to change for this text so this could be kind of a orange and this could be kind of a you can see here this color the red color and then if you want to add the options also you can add the option number here and if you have if you are using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert some icons you can select so any icons of your choice depending on your requirements so i'm just randomly selecting say five options just insert this bring it here i'm going to make the height and width as 0.4 only and then for each one i'm just going to place the icon next to the title And again, depending on this one, graphic fill, you can just change the color for each option. You can see here, whichever may be this one, then this could be the orange, this would be the red, and this would be this color. So you can see here, like this, you can do. And if you want, you can put the option number on top of each ribbon also. So let me just show you, go to insert text, i'm going to type 01 or option a b c d also you can add it and make it bold bring it here just rotate it a little bit and i'm going to give a white font if you want you can give black font also so again Control d rotate it as per the requirement how the ribbons are placed so you can just with the help of this arrow rotate this again the last one you can see here rotate a little bit so this could be my option number five this could be four this will be three and this will be two and if you want to do the animation and make sure that you need to group this without this one so you have to just group the shadow effect the text and this ribbon so you can group it and do the simple animation like wipe or stretch animation you can do it